Hey guys, welcome back to the Dangin. On today's episode, we're going to review the Vava Chroma and its brand new firmware update, version 1.6.1. Stick around. All right, guys, like I mentioned before, today we're going to review the brand new firmware update for the Vava Chroma. This is version 1.6.1 that I'm going to be showing off today. Now, in this video, we're also going to show some frame rate comparisons and some color comparisons before and after the update. So let's get going. Hey, everybody. Let's begin the first portion of this test by jumping into the Vava Chroma and showing you exactly what image settings I'm going to keep this on for the first set of tests. You'll see standard mode is what I'm going to keep it in here. Everything is at the stock um, settings. Light source mode is in standard. Um, HDMI 2.0 is on. HDR is on. And it's projecting in a 4K image. As I go through the different menus, remember there are two. Just double check uh, if you want to keep your results consistent to mine that everything is kept in standard um, and that the color temperature is standard, the dynamic contrast is on, uh, etc. And the light source uh, brightness is at level nine. After we jump into the settings menu, we're gonna switch over to the first clip, which is a Transformers clip. It has an original 24 frames per second mode that you can see right here. And then it also switches over to a 60 frames per second mode. Now, this clip in particular looks really good in both modes. It is pretty tough to tell the difference. I think that's just the way that the movie was shot. Uh, but once you get towards the end of the clip, you'll notice that they do a side-by-side -side comparison. And you can tell a little bit more that the 60 frames per second is a, a tad bit more smooth than the 24. The next test, the dot test, is something where we can just get an idea of what the 60 frames, the 30 frames, and the 24 frames looks like on the Vava Chroma. Um, it is a very smooth projector when it comes to 60 frames per second, uh, but this gives you an idea of what you might be running into when you look at different content that's 24 frames or 30 frames. If you're a gamer, um, this particular example with Assassin's Creed is showing us a 30 frames per second and a 60 frames per second mode. Gives you an idea of the smooth uh, gradation uh, differences, and then it puts them side by side. You can definitely tell that the 60 frames is smoother gaming. This is still normal mode, keep that in mind. Next, we're gonna take a look at a movie that was filmed in 60 frames per second, but this is Gemini Man and the 24 frames per second mode. Um, this is what most of your standard films are shot in, 24 frames. This movie is a pretty good example because it allows me to compare both. Uh, you can see a slight amount of stuttering uh, that would be known with any type of 24 frames per second film. Uh, but with the Vava Chroma on this one, it still looks very good. Switching over to the 60 frames version, you can definitely tell how smooth it is, almost like a soap opera type smooth effect. Um, the colors are just the same. 
the uh, image quality does not stutter uh, whatsoever in the 60 frames mode. So if you're into those type of films, this is a great one to test your Vava Chroma at a 60 frames. Another test I like to do is the alien spaceship test. This is done with a 60, 30, and a 15 frames different. I'll post the link in the comments below. Now that I've shown you the standard mode Vava Chroma differences between the 24, the 30, and the 60 frames per second, we're gonna uh, run a software update to the 1.6.1 software. And this is how you do it. Uh, go into the check for updates tab. Once it finds the new update, go ahead and click update. Pretty simple. After it runs the update, takes about 10 minutes. You'll jump into another portion where you can check your factory settings again. Now I went back to factory just to make sure. And in this mode, uh, I kept everything the same, standard, all the different contrast, brightness, etc. was kept to the same spec as the first filming technique. That brings us back to the 24 versus 60 frames per second with the Transformers clip. Nothing notable, no, no huge changes in the color or ghosting, so it is pretty promising. Um, the image looks really good still, especially in the 24 and the 60 frames. And when you put them side by side, uh, you definitely can tell that the 60 frames uh, is a bit smoother, uh, but ultimately to the human eye, you'll be used to both and the projector handles it just fine. Once you check out the dot test, you'll see that with the 1.6.1 update, there are no noticeable differences. I would say that the white level looks the same, the black level looks the same, and the frames per second don't seem to be affected. We'll move on to the alien spaceship test after that. And you can definitely tell that the black levels are the same and the frames per second at 15, 30, and 60. Um, you can tell the differences. Post update, Gemini Man, 24 frames per second. Same thing. Everything looks very good, even in the 24 frames mode. Uh, a little bit more movie-like quality, stuttering. I would say that the colors seem a little bit better. Uh, I just can't pinpoint exactly what changed. Ultimately, the 24 frames Gemini Man looks just as good, maybe a tad bit better than the first before update test. Once you switch over to the 60 frames, you'll notice again, very smooth soap opera like effect. Same color changes, not sure what they were specifically, uh, but something was slightly improved uh, after the 1.6.1 update. And it makes it look just as good, if not better than before the update.
Gaming after the update really seems exactly the same. I don't notice many changes with colors. 30 and 60 frames. Obviously, playing a game at 60 looks a lot better than 30, especially when you put them side by side. After the 1.6.1 update, nothing seems to have changed uh, very much. So, seems consistent. Okay, for the last test, I wanna show you guys a standard mode versus gaming mode. Now this is some uh, European football or soccer. And what we have here is a nice bright green grass. Um, the color looks really good. The yellow uniforms look really good. And the frame rate looks really good. Now this is standard mode, so keep that in mind. We're gonna compare that next to some live sports in gaming mode. All right, once we jump into gaming mode after the update, you'll take a look at the different colors of the grass. I would say that maybe it's more of a natural depiction of what the grass looks like in gaming mode, but ultimately what I'm seeing is much more stutter for some reason. So I don't believe um, there was a massive improvement with the VAVA uh, projector after the 1.6.1 update to fix uh, like the motion smoothing. This may be a setting you can mess with when in gaming mode on the VAVA, but ultimately I think normal mode looks a bit better uh, for live sports. So gaming mode should be used for video games, in my opinion, and Gaming mode should not be used for live sports, in my opinion. Here are some examples of the European football side-by-side, -side, normal mode versus gaming mode, and you can definitely tell here the differences in color and the differences in frame rate. All right, guys, that about does it. That was the software update and the comparison for the Vava Chroma and version 1.6.1 firmware. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those in the comments below. Other than that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you wanna get alerts on when I post videos. But thanks again for joining me here on The Dangent and I'll see you guys next time.